Welcome to the It Just Works podcast. I am your host, Ryan, and this is the next-gen edition of the It Just Works podcast. And I just basically give you my thoughts on whether or not you should pick up a console right away and where to find them and just honestly just some of the main features they have and kind of buying points like or selling points i guess you would say uh, i also talk about apex legends real quick and that's pretty much it uh i've been very busy with work uh just bu- busy with my personal life um working on longer episodes for you guys i just want to get something out since next gen is literally starting by this the release of this episode uh, I hope you all have an amazing next gen day. I hope you get your consoles. If you do, do not forget to write us. And that is it just works pod at gmail.com. Once again, that is it just works pod at gmail.com. You can go ahead and uh, write into the show and let us know about your new console. Also, Forever Grips Accessories is sponsoring the show. So you can check out their thumbstick covers, controller covers, and keyboard accessories, and even uh, actual clothing. Go check them out and use our discount code it just works pod in all caps to get 15% off your first purchase. And thank you to Forever Grips for sponsoring the show. And that's it for me, guys. So let's cue that intro. Hello, everyone, and welcome into the show. We're just going to get right into it, and we're going to talk about Apex Legends Season 7. So it came out last week, and I've played a pretty good amount of it since then. I just wanted to briefly talk about it and kind of give you guys my thoughts on it. Uh, So far, I'd say the season pass, which is uh, mainly the bulk of what they are trying to achieve. You know, with, uh, you know, it's basically if you pay 10 bucks... You unlock a bunch of premium items. Most games do this. Um, if you pay 25 bucks, they uh, level you up all the way to level 25. Um, the battle pass is cool. Uh, the new updates are cool. So the R99 is back on the, the map. So it's not a uh, care package weapon. They actually put the Prowler back in the care package. I'm sorry. Well, they put the Prowler in the care package. It's never been, but... Uh, I didn't realize how much I missed the R99. <laughs> I I used to hate it because people... I, I felt like it's too easy to use. Uh, I still feel like it is a little bit, but my god, that gun is so satisfying to just take someone's armor out and all their health. Uh, it's such a good gun, and it's really cool to have it back on the map. Uh, the map itself, Olympus, I, I really like it still. Like I think they did a really good job. Looks like it should be in Titanfall. I wish there was Titans on the map. Uh, I, I just think they did such a good job with this map, though. I'm, I'm really pleased with it. It's really fun to play on. So many places to land, but there's so many lanes where, you know, if you're in the open and you're separated from your team, you're basically screwed uh, next to the massive, like, portal, like, wormhole. I, uh, I went off a jump tower and I separated myself from my team. Uh, I didn't realize... I was going to fall off the structure and be wide open, uh, but I was, and a team of three saw me, and it was ranked, and they hunted my ass down, and I had nowhere to go, so it kind of sucked. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of kind of a buzzkill, to be honest. Um, I would say this map is kind of like World's Edge, uh, the original World's Edge when it came out. If you separate yourself from your team, uh, it's extremely unforgiving, and you are definitely going to pay for it. So keep an eye out on that. I'd say grab a sniper. <laughs> uh, grab an R99 and a sniper. Uh, seriously, I think that's the best loadout to go with. Uh, you need that coverage. Um, I would say the charge rifle is really good. Uh, it's definitely the way to go. Uh, that or the longbow. Um, all, all the snipers are good, though. I mean, the, the triple take is amazing. The sentinel is great. Uh, they're all fantastic weapons, so... Uh, whatever you, whatever you like is what you should go with, but definitely run a sniper, um, or a G7 or a hemlock. Just, you need something to really hit people from far because there's teams that are basically running around just like World's Edge all over again, where they all have snipers and they just take you out in a few shots. So, uh, it definitely sucks. (laughs) Uh, Horizon, 
Uh, she's an amazing legend, man. Oh my god. Uh, she's really cool. Uh, she's got a lot of great lines. Uh, her backstory is great. Uh, her tactical ability, which is the grav lift, is insane. I, I truly love it. Uh, her passive is basically, it's called spacewalk, I think, and she just pretty much can like float around in air a little bit, and then if you do like a high jump and you land, you kind of like do like a smooth landing and you literally can keep running right away. Whereas other characters you get like kind of like a, you kind of stumble a little bit and then you can start running. And that's always something I've really hated. So playing as horizon has been great for me so far. I've had some really good games with her. Uh, you can be extremely aggressive with her and I, I really enjoy that. But with her, you can actually stay with your team Whereas when I play with Pathfinder or a Chappie, you know, I'm grappling around and, you know, my team, is, my team can't catch up. It's just not possible. So if I swing myself into a situation and I cannot take out the last person, it's still my fault. And with Horizon, I don't really have to worry about that. I know my team's still going to be there. And don't get me wrong, I still run ahead a little bit too much. But uh, she's just a great legend. I think all around this season is fantastic. Uh, they, they've done such a good job so far. And I think the vehicle, the Trident, <laughs> is... Uh, honestly, it's fucking awesome. I love that damn thing. I I, I think the Trident is hilarious. Uh, it cracks me up just, you know, driving it around. And people are like, oh, shit. I've been using it to literally, like, bum rush people. Uh, bum rush people. Like, seriously, like, you can... Literally just drive into a situation and then jump out of the trident, but it still keeps moving when you're jumping out. So like you don't really launch where they think you do. And uh, I think it's I think it's a pretty effective strategy. It m works out for us most of the time. Um, there's a couple glitches out there. Uh, my brother recently found a glitch, and I'll be hopefully posting it here soon. But looks like his team went off a jump pad with a trident, and it literally like launched them up in the map like in the atmosphere kind of like the old supply crate glitch on king's canyon in season one and then another one that's come out is um uh one second sorry um <laughs> wow i just completely blinked um so costa can throw a trap out and the second it's almost done you know coming up you can grapple it with chappy off a jump pad and you literally fly up in the sky. So there's a couple glitches that have been found recently. Uh, other than that, Apex Legends Season 7 is fantastic. Please go check it out if you haven't yet. Crossplay is in the game for good now. Uh, you can add us. Uh, you know, all of us play it. Eric, the casual gamer, myself. Um, you can add me at OCR Side 9. Uh, if you want to play with me, just if you're on PlayStation or computer, just add me on the game. And uh, hopefully we can play sometime. Uh, just like a take to take a moment real quick to uh, say, you know, don't forget you can email us. Uh, you know, our Gmail is it just works pod at gmail.com. Once again, that is it just works pod at gmail.com. Please don't forget to send in some feedback. Uh, we'd love to hear from you guys. So one of the next things I want to talk about is uh, my charger dropping on the floor and hurting everyone's ears. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um Next gen, well, next gen in air quotes, since it's such a cross generation thing we got going on, like cell phones. But next gen literally starts now. This podcast will be out at 9 p.m. PST uh, at November 9th, but that is the launch of the consoles. And next gen is here, everybody. So get your PS5s, get your Xbox Series X or S. Um, Basically, I, I wanted to let everyone know that it looks like a lot of retailers are still basically selling these consoles online. Um, yeah, I think it's unfortunate. I'd rather pick up my console in person or like I have an Xbox One X. I'd love to trade it into GameStop and then just, you know, buy my console in person. <sighs> but whatever. Uh, you know, life isn't perfect. Um, so, yeah, you're going to have a, a lot of massive next gen enhancements with a lot of games that are already out. Uh, some next-gen titles will be Cyberpunk, Call of Duty Black Ops, uh, Cold War, uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales, Gears of War Tactics, or Gears Tactics as they called it. Uh, it's originally out on the PC, but now it will be out on console. I highly recommend you guys look into it. 
Uh, it's actually a pretty solid game, and I'm, I'm really excited to finish it on my One X. Um, there's just a lot going on. So Halo 4 will be on the PC, finally, uh, November 17th. And then Master Chief Collection will be getting a next-gen update, which will be amazing. So that is November 17th. Uh, just keep an eye out for the consoles, everybody. If you really have to have it, I recommend it. But honestly, if you have a PS4 Pro, a One X, or a computer, of course, you know, PC Master Race, just kidding, you just suck. Um, just kidding again, PC Master Race, for sure. Um, if you don't have to have it, I I highly recommend you wait. You don't need these consoles right away. Uh, I, I wish I could get one tomorrow, but at the same time, like my One X is just fine right now. Um, it does everything it needs to do, and it excels at it very well. It's still going to be able to play every game I just announced, besides obviously Marvel Spider-Man. That's a PlayStation exclusive. And I just, unless you have to have it, you really don't need it. <laughs> if you don't have a 4K TV, you don't need it. If you don't even notice frame rate now between 30 and 60 frames, I still recommend you don't get it. Uh, at that point, it's basically up to the SSD that it has. So it's a solid state drive. Uh, it's memory unit. Uh, your games will load at massive, like crazy times uh, for, between both consoles. And then the Xbox Series X also has, um, I forgot the name of it, but it's the, it's the feature where you can literally switch between all your games. So if I have Halo Master Chief Collection on and I have Apex Legends, uh, it won't close out the other game. They will both stay on simultaneously and I can switch between the games. I really believe that feature is amazing. And I'm sorry I'm forgetting the name of it. <laughs> so I just wanted to talk about this, the new consoles and uh, just kind of get my thoughts on them. I, I think they're both amazing. They are worth your money. I just would say if you don't have to have it, then don't get it. But if you still want it, but you have a ton of bills to pay, then I recommend the Xbox Series S as it is still a very powerful console. Now, one of the things that I want to say which will basically sweeten the deal, in, in my opinion, when it comes to buying the Series S, is if you have Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, you can now, starting tomorrow, play uh, whatever's on Game Pass, plus you can play whatever's on EA Play. Uh, so Titanfall 2, if you've never played it, please go play it. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm telling you, go play it. Let's bring that game back, everybody. Everybody just install Titanfall 2 so we can go play it together, please. Just let's revive that game. <laughs> um, also announced today is uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Uh, Respawn Entertainment's recent uh, venture into the Star Wars universe. Uh, you play as a young je Jedi who is trying to survive since Order 66 named Cal. And it is honestly one of my favorite games to come out next gen. I was trying to do a looking back before the next gen consoles come out, but uh, you know. Uh, time is not of the essence, so it is not on my side, friends, but that game will be available starting tomorrow on Xbox Game Pass slash EA Play. Please go check that out. Uh, game Pass is the best deal in gaming. You really can't go wrong. So if you have a new console, yes, there's tons of things you can try that will allow you to really appreciate your console, especially that SSD. Um... That's honestly just kind of what I wanted to talk about. I mean, today's a quick episode. Um, I need more time with some of the other stuff I'm working on. And I believe Lord of the Rings will be recorded later this week. Uh, I still have to watch it again. Uh, I can already tell you now it's an amazing movie. Uh, you should just watch it. <laughs> uh, but that's that's honestly pretty much it. So I just wanted to say, if you guys get your new consoles, uh, go ahead and email us in the show. Let us know what you think of your new console. Like, is it something that you really felt like you had to have? Or is it, you know, are you happy? But you're like, yeah, I probably didn't need this yet. Uh, definitely let us know. Um, I'm excited to uh, get get my hands on hopefully both. I actually want the Series X and the Series S. I know that sounds crazy because I really don't need it. Uh, but I really want both. <laughs> so uh, keep an eye out for those guys. Um there's a lot of future updates coming, so please uh, bear with me on this. Um, there's just a lot going on. Uh, work has been super busy, so I do plan on making longer episodes for you guys again. Uh, as always, thank you so much for listening to the show. Uh, I really appreciate all of you guys. There's over 30 countries listening to the show. I mean, that's insane. 
I mean, it could be one person for each country, but what I'm saying is that's crazy. <laughs> uh, real quick, uh, I just wanted to talk about my Instagram poll. Uh, yeah, so keep an eye out for those. I'm going to try to do those every Friday. I think they're really fun. Uh, the last poll I did was on the Star Wars sequel trilogy, and I said, is the Star Wars sequel trilogy dog shit? Uh, the answer is definitely yes, in my opinion. But honestly, at the end of the day, if you like it, that's great. Uh, I just wanted to say that both polls uh, yeeted it. That movie franchise got yeeted real hard. Uh, but they were close on one. I think people meant that thought that Send It meant, you know, it's not good. I don't know. I was worried that a lot of people said they liked the Star Wars sequel trilogy, everybody. I don't know how I feel about it. But anyways, this is the It Just Works podcast. I'm your host, Ryan. Uh, Next Gen is here, guys. Uh, stay tuned for the next episode. Uh, God knows what kind of news is going to come out in the next few days, so please stay tuned. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.